Hey y'all, greetings from South Carolina, it's Maggie. And we've been reading out of the chapter of Matthew in the King James Bible. And today we're gonna to pick it up at chapter 22, okay? So let's get going. All right, y'all. Praise the Lord. So, chapter 22. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables, saying, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them, <clears throat> excuse me, that were bidden to the wedding, that were invited to the wedding. And they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm and another to his merchandise. So he, was, he sold merchandise. But they made light of it, and the remnant, took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, angry, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, <clears throat> The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways and the byways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage, invite them to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and byways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. He was not dressed appropriately. And he said unto him, <clears throat> Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? In other words, how did you get in here not wearing a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. He who has ears, let him hear. <clears throat> Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. In other words, he's not a preferer of men, okay? Um... Everybody's on an even playing field. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? So, in other words, is it lawful to pay taxes? Caesar was the ruler at that time. And they're asking this of Jesus, trying to entangle him, trying to trip him up. But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, why tempt me ye, ye hypocrites? So why are you tempting me, hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. And they brought him a penny. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? So whose name is on it? They say unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection. 
and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven brothers? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Now we're not angels. We are going to be as the angels of God. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken to you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, those were Jesus' words that he spoke, and when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great command which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy mind, and with all thy soul. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, said Jesus. While the Pharisees were gathered together, now you know those are the religious folk, remember, when it says Pharisees. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord? Saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? Said Jesus. And no man was able to answer him a word. Neither did any man from that day forward ask him any more questions. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. So he's telling them, you know, listen to what they say, but do it, but don't watch them, don't do what they do, because they don't do right. They say one thing, but they do another. And Jesus continues, For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for is to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the market, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren. 
and call no man your father upon the earth. For one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. In other words, brought down. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, shall be lifted up. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Now this is all Jesus still, y'all. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that they are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. In other words, you travel all over the place, sea and land, to make one person, quote, a believer. And when he is made, ye make him twofold the more the child of hell than yourselves. He who has ears, let him hear. Kind of like the blind leading the blind, y'all. They both fall in the ditch. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, which one is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift? Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven sweareth by the throne of God and by him that sitteth upon that throne. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and you have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Ye woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter and the outside of them, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed a sepulcher is where they put the dead, like a mausoleum type situation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity, which is sin. <clears throat> woe 
Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our father, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify, and some of them you shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon all the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Bereshikos, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Thou hast killed the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathers her chickens under her wing, and you would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth until shall... I'm going to repeat that. For I say unto you, you shall not see me from here forth until, sh until ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I'm going to read that one more time, y'all. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that completes actually chapter 23. Let's go ahead and read through chapter 24, okay? All right. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. One moment, y'all. Mm. All righty. And continuing, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. You know what, y'all? This chapter, I think, is really something we need to start in a whole new video. So let's just go ahead and wrap it up here. And I just wanted to say a quick prayer over y'all. I just pray that y'all all have a wonderful, beautiful day today. I pray that each one of you keep your mind on things above and not things beneath. May the Lord Jesus Christ go with each of you. May he bless your coming and your going. May he give you eyes to see the kingdom of heaven. And may he work in your heart all things for good. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. 
Y'all have an awesome day. God bless you. Bye-bye.